Well, hello there and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Sagittarius. Hopefully you all had a great weekend. Yes, everybody is still kind of intuition is extremely intense and heightened because the moon is at 95% illuminated, but we're going to get right into your general reading. I'm talking to my Sagittarius sun, moon, rising Venus, north and south nodes. Yes, as well as if there's a Sagittarius is anywhere in your chart. I specifically highlight those, but again, Wherever Sagittarius is in your chart, even if you are a cross watcher thinking that you're watching for a Sagittarius friend or ex or whomever you're watching for, if you find out you have Sagittarius in your chart, I am talking to you. All right, let's get into it. The energy has already been clear, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So Sagittarius, I have a question for you all. What, what kind of readings would you all like? Because out of my fire signs, and I'm starting to go through it, starting to kind of sort of start vetting which readings I'm going to continue doing. Because again, well, I do the readings because I have literally have every sign in my chart. So I'm also speaking to myself as well. But uh, if there's anything in particular you all would like for me to do readings on, love readings or whatever, let me know. Drop a line below. Hey, let me know. Let me know. Because again, um, I want to make sure that I am accommodating you all again um, and helping you all through your journey, helping you through your journey. So let's see what the cards have to say. Somebody is healing all those dark spaces within themselves. Healing is always a great thing. Like I said, we are still very much full moon energy. And the reason why I talk about moon energy in my readings is because a lot of times people don't understand why they feel the way that they do during certain times of the month. Men and women go through cycles. Everything goes through cycle. Every living being goes through cycles, right? Here we have the four of swords. And that's why I um, shared that information in my readings as well as numbers. Here we have the star card, which is attached to Aquarius. I want you all to start attaching signs with their ruling planet versus a person, right? So here we have um, the five of wands. We have the magician card, which is associated with the planet Mercury, which is Virgo and Gemini's ruling planet. We have the chariot card, which is attached to Cancer. And we have the Empress card. Yes. All right. We have the Empress card. So it looks like, okay, so first of all, so if somebody's married and pregnant, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations to you. Again, someone is focusing on, and if you're not pregnant with child, you could be pregnant with your gift that you're about to give birth to, right? So somebody's learning how to balance out their energies. They're, they're learning how to accept all sides of themselves, which is great. And that's actually going to help you help this rebirth to go a lot smoother for you all. Remember, everybody's energy is heightened right now, not just yours. You could be having vivid dreams. Your intuition could be on point. You could feel like, okay, well, I got all this extra energy and all of these other things, right? Don't get caught up on people not calling you back. Don't get caught up on people who seem like they ghosted you, whatever. Everybody deals with full moon energy in their own way, okay? Find something positive and high vibrational to do during this time, like focusing on healing, healing whatever is inside of you that could feel like it's a dark space. That's the beautiful thing about full moon energy is that somebody is healing, is in a process of healing themselves, which is great, 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 great. You all are very smart sign. You all are deep thinkers. You all are, you love to have fun. You all are very generous. This is where you're going to be more generous with yourselves. And so that's going to help you go through your rebirth, right? And then also deal with, you know, making sure you get your proper rest. So I do see somebody in their healing process. Rest is going to play a huge role in you healing. Don't get connected with people who have burned you in the past. Because again, that's going to, you being a fire sign, and it could be a fellow Sagittarius, Leo, Aries burning you, then psh, combust. Y'all just, just go for it. Just at each other's throats. You don't need to do all of that right? Instead, make sure you get your proper rest. So this can be a, a smooth rebirth. And so be in receiving mode. This is the magician card. Know when to speak and when to receive. Like I said, during this time, if people aren't calling you back and they're not texting you back, just be okay with it, right? Seriously. If you're waiting for a, an employer to call you back for a job, or you're waiting for a loved one to call you back, remember this moon affects everybody. Every element goes through, um, handles full moon energy in their own way. So this is about respecting boundaries. First and foremost, your own boundary. But I'm telling you, 
your healing process is going to go a lot. Your rebirth process is going to go a lot smoother when you get your rest. Liken it to this during this time. This is your time to really think about yourself and say, um, yes, I am smart. I love to have fun. I'm all these things, but let me, let me see if, um, let me, let me take this time to think about how I approach situations like around my, and I, I don't want to say around your monthly time, because again, I'm not talking to just women. I'm talking to men too around full moon time. Like how do I handle situations? Cause there's so much going on in my spirit and it's probably best that I get my rest because things may not come out as soft or as smooth during this time, right? And I don't want to try to offend anybody, but again, there's some things that I'm I'm going through this rebirth. So very much like a mother who is pregnant, if you've ever been around a pregnant woman, rest is going to be key. You know, she may feel uncomfortable. Maybe the baby is too big and just feel like, okay, I'm just, I'm tired of being pregnant. You all have heard women who have given birth. I'm just tired of being pregnant. I just can't wait to meet my baby. I can't wait to meet my gift. And everybody was like, oh, we're so excited. So this is the stage that somebody is in. Just kind of like one day you're in a great mood. The next day you may not be in the best of mood, but embrace all of it, right? Embrace the light in you and the dark. But this is, again, sleep, getting your rest is going to really, really help you. You know, in all of these, you see the people, everybody is by themselves. And so it's probably best to stay away from large crowds of people that could irritate you, right? During this time so that you can have a safe, smooth delivery process into your own rebirth, okay? So again, not everybody is pregnant. Obviously, there's not men are not pregnant, but there are some people out there who are, like I said, are going through their rebirth. So you control how smooth or how rough it's going to be. So I'm just trying to help somebody. Also, um, I, I just uploaded a video on soul ties, like how to identify them and how to break them if necessary on the knowledge channel. Please go check it out. It's helping a lot of people. Here we also have the devil card. Somebody is like a pregnant woman, scared, nervous, and scared. Like, what's going on? I, I don't really know. I, I, that's why rest is going to be so important. And you can almost work yourself into, uh, you know, work yourself up so much. You, you, got, you get to be emotionally drained when you start to feel depressed and sad. And like, I don't understand what's going on right now. People aren't calling me back. This isn't happening. That's not happening. And so it's important to keep your vibrations very high or else you will be emotionally drained, almost looking like down into a black hole. You don't want to go backwards. You're trying to move forward. Remember, we are in still very much full moon energy in Libra, right? Yes. Yeah, so you want to move forward in a very positive direction, in a very positive light. Okay? Good, 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 good. All right. Then we have, again, a... Um, Activating your crown chakra. So spending time near water by yourself is going to be key, key, key. Get your proper rest. I don't know if any swimmers are out there. I love to swim. If you love being around water, the beach, a pond, a pool, whatever. If you like exercising, do some things that you love to do to get that extra energy out so you're being productive instead of counterproductive. Don't sit around and let negative thoughts fester in your mind And because I, I see somebody celebrating outside of a building. You could be celebrating outside of your new apartment. You could be celebrating outside your job because you got a raise. It could be an increase on disability check. If you don't work for anybody, you're receiving some kind of money. It could be an increase on, you know, public assistance. It could be an increase. You could get a, your tax check in the mail, but it's some kind of money coming your way. It could be an increase on your at work where you're getting an increase on your check at work, but celebrate it all, really celebrate it all. So congratulations to somebody who is going to be getting a raise in their lives. Don't worry about all that other stuff. But again, like I said, sometimes this just looks like you in source, right? You and God, right? Celebrating. But if you have somebody that's close to you that, you know, who handles um, full moon energy very, very well, don't have a problem calling people up and saying, hey, I just got a raise. I just got an increase, right? Yeah, let them celebrate with you. But this is your time of healing, this is not your time to go back to a space of feeling like I feel rejected. People aren't calling me back. I've been waiting on X, Y, and I keep calling people that are not calling me back. Maybe they are just busy. Maybe they really, really just are busy. 
you know, like I said, people handle full moon energy very, very, you know, differently. You have elements. If, if they're not Sagittarius like you or they're a different sign or a different element or uh, the opposite duality, it could be a lot of things that come into play. But don't think the worst is what I'm saying. Lovers. Uh-huh. So, yeah, somebody, you know, I want you all to embrace all sides of yourself again on first glance, it looks like somebody's going to get married. And if you are getting married, then kudos to you. Congratulations. As I can also see that here, right? Somebody could be with child and then nervous, you know, should I get married? The answer is yes. The answer is yes, if that's what you want. But this is more so about you embracing the feminine side of yourselves because you all are divine masculine by default. And I'm talking to men and women, Sagittarius. But again, focusing on healing those dark spaces in your life and, and not letting insecurities rule, you know, I, I don't want to feel like I'm rejected. And, you know, last time I was in this relationship, you know, somebody took advantage of me and all of that. Go watch my soul ties video and see how you identify them and how you can release those soul ties, sever soul ties so that you can move forward and live your absolute best life. Because somebody does want to be married. Somebody wants to be in a romantic relationship with their person. If you're still, you have a soul contract with somebody else, whether it's a family member, friend, ex-lover, whomever, it's going to be hard for you to see what's right there in front of you, including insecurities. It's a time to release negativity. Yeah. Somebody hurt somebody real, real bad. I mean, like it was a scorpion sting where you just felt like, okay, you felt that rebirth, but I'm trying to help somebody. It's like the only way you're going to meet that actual person for you is to release something else. Let the moon show you what you need to release. And if you don't, you still don't know because you all of the IC sign, ask source, ask source. Like, what is it that I'm not seeing source? Like, give me another sign. Come to me in a dream, you know, like, you know, let the wind blow in my house and the windows aren't even open. Like, send me a sign in some way, shape, form or fashion. Here we go. I can stop when I take in more energy than I give off. Mm hmm. That's right. In case somebody wants to screenshot it, life represents a cosmic capacity to manipulate both time and energy. I love, love, love this. Yeah, let's pull one last card and we're going to close out your reading, Sagittarius. But this is a critical time for you all. And like I said, man or woman, it doesn't matter whether you are physically present, pregnant or not. If you are, again, congratulations. But if you're not physically pregnant with child, you're, you're about to give birth to your higher self. So yeah, with that can come some fear and doubt and it can creep, it can go right to the heart of your insecurities of feeling like a, abandonment. Am I leaving things? Be, am I making the right decision? You can have a lot of questions in your mind, but if this, if you needed some confirmation to move forward, yes, continue moving forward. You're making the best decision for you, right? So create some kind of a chant right? The number eight is the money exchange number. So whatever it is you want for your life, like I said, speak it into existence like you spoke a raise into existence. Continue speaking whatever it is you want into existence, Sagittarius. And again, watch it happen. But in the meantime, continue healing those dark spaces. Embrace all sides of yourselves during this critical moment. God already knows that somebody is nervous. Somebody is doubtful. Somebody is scared, you know, moving into this next chapter. But again, I want to make sure you all don't take it out on people, you know, unbeknownst to you, you're taking it out on people that's out, you know, you know, your friends or family member or whatever. This is your time where you want to just get your proper rest so that you can think clearly and you can move with intention, good intention, right? That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.